Dynamic Stars. I am out here in a different area, in a different arena to help us all find a new way, a new perspective in moving forward from where we are now to where we're heading towards. Uh, this is a quick pick a card reading in preparation for next week's video, which is all about liminal gods, goddesses, deities, orishas that can help us move to the next level, move to the next thing. So this reading is going to be what energy we need to utilize, mobilize, call upon to help us move to the next thing so that when we get to the video next week, you are already prepared with the energy of what it is you need to work with. Um, so that's what this video is. So I'm trying to be organized in the way that I do things now. So, you know, a little quick shuffle. We're going to have four piles. Not sure if you can see this, but I'll show you. A tower of Caribbean calcite. A shaman stone, but only one of them. You know, they come in pairs. Lemurian quartz. Don't know if you can see those lines that are inside. And a fancy behind bag clip, bag hanging. So when you're at a restaurant or wherever and you don't want to put your bag on the floor, you can put it on the table. So these are the four items. So you can pick from that and I'm going to shuffle now. I ask that the spirits my spiritual family and the spirits that work with me and my highest good come forth to bring a message for all who are listening today. This is for those who choose the Caribbean calcite and what energy they need to focus on to help them to move from where they are now to the next thing, whatever it is they're working on. The Caribbean quotes. That would be listening. You see the woman there pressed against the mirror. It says listening. It says listen to your wise self. Let your inner compass direct the course of your life. So with the Caribbean courts, the energy of this is very much of going within getting depth, getting insight from who you are. Because this quartz is very calming. Sorry, this Caribbean calcite is very, very calming. It helps you to bring you to that inner peace state so that you can actually hear. It helps you with getting into a dream state so that you can get messages through your dreams. And now we have listening. So the crystal and the card are saying the same thing. What have you heard that maybe you put to the side, put to the back burner, that may be for your best interest, but you've just been so busy. And that's the thing. What I'm getting is you've got to move the busyness out of the way and make time for yourself. Even if it's 10 minutes a day, make time to sit down and get quiet so that you know what you're supposed to hear. And then maybe you'll have the energy, the the gumption to do some of these things because part of it is you don't want to hear because you're not sure of what to do and how to move forward and this card is telling you this crystal is urging you nudging you to get calm and quiet so that you can hear pick up those messages listen even if you've heard it actually listen to the message so that you can do something Maybe the message is it's time for a new job. Maybe the message is that relationship is or is not the right thing for you. Maybe the message is as simple as why are you stressing about this? Now it is time to do this over there. Leave that alone and let it take care of itself. These are things that your spirit is trying to tell you, to convey to you. And depending upon your situation, 
sitting down and listening, you're going to hear. And if you're not quite sure what listening means, you can sit down quietly with a white candle or whichever color comes to you to use and just stare at the flame and just ask your guys, share with me what you want to say. I am ready to hear now, okay? We're now going to move on to the shaman story. Spirits and guides of mine, please come to the floor and let me know what the message is for those who have chosen the shaman stone so that they can move from where they are now to the next stage. You received love. Choose love. Let your love become a powerful force for change. So automatic doesn't necessarily have to be about romance. It does not have to be about mate, spouse, none of that. This is, I'm feeling, this is for your friendships. This is for your family. These are for people that have maybe become estranged from you. And you have no idea why. It just, it just moved away. Things just kind of fell off for whatever reason. It's now time to rekindle and bring those things back. Share the love that you have in your heart because there are those relationships where 20, 30 years go by and you see each other once again and guess what? Boom, everything goes right back as if no time has passed whatsoever, right? That's what I'm talking about. Who are those people that you lost connection with, that you lost touch with, that you're wondering why that happened and it's time to pull that back because your love is a powerful force it needs to be shared with these people and that in fact we're in a retrograde right now as i'm filming this and sometimes that's what needs to happen pulling back some of the things that were lost that you actually really want so use this time to reflect on who these people may be and maybe why these why the relationship uh, kind of just went awry or just you know dwindled off and once you look through the reasons why maybe some patterns and things will come up that need to be addressed and once retrograde is over or whenever you feel like because this is what your spirit is telling you reach out to them or just send a quick text or a message. Hey, thinking about you. What's up? How are you doing? And start it from there. The ground, this stone here, the shaman stone, they normally come in pairs. And it's very interesting that you got this with this love card because there's supposed to be two. It's only one here. Why? If it's a pair, why is it only one? the same exact message that the card is giving you. You can't make this stuff up. You saw me shuffle on camera. Alright, moving on to number three. I ask my spirit guides to come forth to give a message for those who chose the Lemurian Quartz so that they can move from where they are now to the next level. Blessings. Count your blessings. A grateful heart attracts more joy, love, and prosperity. I know it's backwards, right? Crazy. This is a pile that has so many things to be thankful for. And one of the main things is make sure that you are saying thank you for being grateful. Maybe write a list, quick list on your phone. Um, in your journal about the top three things that you're grateful for today, you know, because that will bring you more into your life because, again, the busyness of the time that we're in. We're now at the time that I'm filming this in September. Go time. Summer is over. Back, back, move, move, go. Guess what? You still have to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This would not have been possible without 
put it in you because that is how you will continue to do, grow, and be, and still, still move forward with what you need to do. Because the Lemurian quartz, you don't understand. This crystal has been in the ground, given the stories and the things that I've read and learned about this stone. It has been in our earth for thousands of years, and it's only being found in the last 10 years. Why is that? Because it's time. The time is right, right now. So, what does that mean for us? For those of you who got this card, the time is right now for you to move and do bigger things, to gain greater awareness of a project's mission, um, your job's goal, the absolute end-all, be-all for your child's school or project. Whatever it is you're working on, there is going to be an aha moment, something that's new coming out, bringing you new awareness. But you're not going to be able to see that until you become more grateful to open up and soften the harder exterior. Why? Because you're just going, 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 going. And this is why count your blessings. It's a moment to step back and reflect. But you have so many blessings, pile number three. So many blessings. But it's more focused on this aha moment, this new thing that has recently come to the fore or will soon come to the fore. And by stopping to do that, Thank you. Thank you for X, Y, Z, P, Q, D. That's going to allow an opportunity for you to have other things come into your awareness that maybe being on the go so much, you didn't realize. Because stopping to be grateful is just that. Stopping for a moment. Thank you so much. Now for those of you who chose pile number four, the bag clip, bag hang. For those who chose pile four, what is the message for them that will help them to take them from here to there? Self-love. Care for your body, self-love and acceptance are the ultimate acts of self-care. And I'm just gonna go straight to this because think about it. This is something that's just really fancy, right? You put it like right here and you hang your purse from it. So here, hang the purse. This itself is a little bougie, a little extra, but it is self-care. You're protecting that investment whatever bag it is that you have, right? You don't want it to touch the ground. You're protecting your monies to keep it flowing so that it's never at the bottom. It's, it's being held, right? How are you doing that for yourself, for your body? Are you going to yoga? Are you doing any kind of body movement? Are you doing lofa, lufa? Are you making sure you have a skin routine? What are you doing to take care of yourself? How are you helping your mental health? Because all of that is self-care. What about taking care of your feet? Do you do a regular pedicure? Whether you go to a salon or do it yourself, what are you doing to help yourself? And another thing of self-care is setting your boundaries. Yes, this is specifically for the body or so the card is focusing, but spirit is telling me there are boundaries that you are allowing people to breach and that is not taking care of yourself. So know what your boundaries are and put a plan in action so that you know if somebody breaches your boundaries, what things will you say to them? You don't have to be nasty and rude, but you can literally go, you know what, I'm so sorry. I, at this moment in time, can we talk about this later? I'm not able to do it. I'm really crunching on a deadline right now. Can we talk about it? At, pick a time, pick a date. 
can we table this till tomorrow? Don't be negative or nasty or ah! But just focus on they just touched the boundary. How am I going to handle this right now? And that is the big thing for this group. Who are you and what you're about is more important right now than all the other things that are coming in. You need to care for yourself. You can't let the drama that's happening out there drone out what your needs are. And that's really the focus of this card. Self-love is literally for taking care of you and your heart and your body and your chakras. If you haven't had a spa day, maybe this is a time for that. And even if you can't really afford a spa day, see if you can share massages with a friend. You know, you could do Reiki, even if it's distance Reiki with a friend, because that's what you need. You need to focus on taking care of you, all right? These are some ideas for you to help you move forward on your path. And I wish you all a lovely, lovely day, week, month, year. And from my heart to yours, have a blessed day. And thank you for watching.